How's everyone Sunday going for them? I want to talk to you about culture. What is culture? Well, it's basically the customary beliefs or social norms of a group. This is why some fire departments' culture can be the same as others, and you can walk through the doors and it's just there's something different. A lot of times it comes down to the culture, so it's what they consider this is routine, this is normal, this is how we always act. So, of course, I've got a couple different stories that I've, I've read about, and they really just kind of dawned on me for this. And uh, they're about uh, rescue or squad companies. If you're in the Northeast, a rescue company is like FDNY, it's got a heavy rescue. Um, in the Midwest, in Chicago, they, we call them squads. So, one first story is from uh, Chicago Squad 2. When I was Squad 2's captain, I asked another officer to cover my tour one night so I could go to a family event. Catching up with him later, I asked him how the night treated him. He told me, Pat, we got crushed. We're going to our third or fourth fire at 3 a.m. All I want to do is go back home and go to bed. When I looked back at the men, though, they were motivated. They looked like they were ready to go to the wall game. The covering officer learned what I already knew. Uh, the men of Squad 2 would fight fire all day and all night and still be ready to go. Uh, they had nothing to do with their skill or experience and everything to do with their attitude. I've known a lot of firemen from all over the country, and the great ones all have one thing in common. They love this job, and they aren't afraid to show it. That's Battalion Chief Pat Maloney from the Chicago Fire Department. Story number two. This is from Pete Lund on, on Rescue 2. Um, it was quoted, if you guys have ever read uh, 25 to Survive, um, it was in there. It's talking about their combat ready concept, which came from uh, Pete Lund. And something that was noticed, he was the um, officer of Rescue 2, was that you know, they, they respond to all time. All right, first one got cut off because of my signal, so let's try the second part. I was finishing up talking about Lieutenant Lund with Rescue 2 and how um, the attitude of his crew always being combat ready for every run. In the fire service, we tend to idolize these guys assigned to the squad companies or the heavy rescue companies. And the similarities between both stories was it wasn't necessarily skill, it was their attitude that they displayed and the discipline that they had to do what was right. Both of those are personal choices. You don't need to go to a fire every day to have those. You can go to maybe one call shift and you can still have the right attitude and the right discipline. So the point is, those crews, they're handpicked, typically. A little bit easier time with that team building than maybe the crew that you hate your assigned here. But at the end of the day, it's a personal choice of our attitude and our discipline that we're going to have to go to these calls. The more you're into this job, the more fun you're going to have. You're going to be here 20, 25, 30 years. Make it the best. Give it your all effort with it. So a culture that works is one that's going to have the right attitude and you're going to have the discipline to do what's right because, hey, we've all had those 3 a.m. calls for the fire alarm and we've been there four times that shift. This could be the one, though, where it's going to light up on you. Are you going to be the one look like a nice clown or are you going to be the hero saving the day, leaving the army behind you, the guys ready to work? So that's going to be your choice this week. It's Sunday. We've got a whole week ahead of us. Work on attitude and discipline.